Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. Welcome to the second and the last DIY for my dining room. I am going to be covering these dining room chairs. You all, this is what they look like before. They're very traditional, kind of Victorian style. And it had cream bottom. We've already upholstered the bottom before, but I'm changing everything with a simple cover. I'm not a professional, but this was easy for me to do, and I think you can do it too. First of all, we're going to be covering the back, and I'll show you the materials that I'm going to be using to do this makeover. And I will be using these poster boards from the Dollar Tree. They didn't have all white when I went, so I ended up getting white and black, which is okay because they are going to be covered up anyway. So on each chair, the front will be white and the rear or the back will be black. But like I said, they're gonna be covered up. So what I'm gonna do is cut out this shape on both boards, that way to give it a firm back. And this will be the immediate covering to make it soft right here. This is polyfoam. I purchased this at Hobby Lobby. If I see where I can link something to Amazon for you, I'll do that for you in case you don't want to go out to get it. Uh, like I said, it's polyfoam. It is one inch thick, 27 inches wide, and 76 inches long. So I believe that will give me enough for each chair. I'm doing four chairs. Also, I purchased these dining chair covers from Amazon. They say velvet dining chair covers, and they come four in a pack. Very reasonably priced, so I would I jumped on this. So I'll leave a link below. They are gray. Hopefully you can see that, but they match the dining room. And um, but leave a link below to that in the description box. Also, I got these nail head studs that are going to go on the sides of the chairs. And I purchased those from Amazon. There will be a link below for that as well. Also, I was so excited, so happy to find this because it took me forever to find this on Amazon. I could not find the size that I wanted. I'm like, do they sell this? But I finally found it. The first time I ordered it, they were like this small and I had to send them back and i finally got the size i wanted on the second try anyway these are chair knockers uh they have another name i'll try to write that down below but um yeah i love these on dining room chairs i was going to do the tufted look but with all this going on in the dining room i thought it might be a little much there's a lot of beautiful bling and just different things and I just thought the tufted might be too much even though I love the tufted look but I'm going to do something you know different and you'll see the outcome and I'm going to take you through each step so that you can do it too if you would like to so stay tuned all right guys so come on over here with me we're going to start with the white board and I am putting this down behind this cushion the seat cushion just putting it down like so because I do want the board to be kind of like stuck behind there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it out from the back using this pen you can use a pencil if you want to but I'm using a pen and I'm just going to trace the back and then I'm going to cut out the shape and then also cut it out on the second black piece of core on board so I'm just going to press this and with the ink pen, I'm just going to trace around it. Okay, now I have done that. And here we are. So now I'm going to cut out this image and I'm going to put it against the black foam core board and cut the same shape out of the black foam core board. Here are the two cutouts in white and black. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the foam that will make the back of the chair soft. So here is the poly foam and I have the chair cutout. I'm gonna put it against the poly foam 
and I'm going to draw on that. Like I said, you can use a pen or I don't think a pencil would do very well on the polyfoam. I'm using pen and I'm going to go ahead and trace it out and cut it out. So this pen is not working real good on the polyfoam either. I'm going to have to go and get some permanent marker. Right, guys so I have the polyfoam cut out as you see and it's on top of the whiteboard which I'm having on the front of the chair so what you want to do is make sure it's even with your board the polyfoam is even with the foam core board and you want to just push it down so that it won't move we're going to put some glue in the middle and then I like to glue the edges so I'm going to put some in the middle Put that down, press on it. Make sure we get that glued together. And this is a very, very easy DIY, like I said. Very simple, just in case you wanna undo the chairs, you don't have to do a whole bunch of staples and just, you know, different things like that. Nailing and stuff, I'm gonna to try to make this very simple. All right, and as you can see, it's even all the way around. I'm going to go around and glue the edges now. You guys, the polyfoam is very forgiving. As you see here, my scissors went a little crooked up this way instead of cutting even. So all you do is stretch that to the end of your board and you're good to go. Just glue glue here stretch and pull and it can go to the edge all right guys so it is the next day as you can see by my clothes i started working on this project kind of late last night and i shouldn't have but i did so anyway i'm about to put everything together right now very quickly and i'm about to t attach this to the back of the chair i'm going to turn this to the side here so you can see, it's going to be attached like this. The foam is in the middle, but it will be turned this way so that you will have a soft back. So anyway, I am going to get this put on. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this plastic off though, and then it'll be time to put the chair covers on. All right, guys, so this is going to be very easy, like I said. You won't believe how easy. Um, so I have the backing here. You kind of want to push it down in there so that you can kind of tuck it just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. And then you want to take your backing. And I put tape on my arm so I have it easy access. Get it better spaced so they don't get stuck together. Okay, so you're making sure all the curves are even and everything. We're going to put the backing even with the front foam and core board, making sure all the curves and everything are in the right place. Okay. And hold it together. We're going to take the tape like this. And right now we're just holding it in place. Push it. Okay. That one, and if it moves a little, it's okay because we haven't secured the other side. But you have it secure it like that around that side. Okay, we're going to secure the other side. And you just secure it to the front. 
not smashing it or anything so that you won't be able to see dips and things in here, but just firmly. Okay, now I'm gonna take the top part and then I'm gonna tape all around so that it secures and that it stays. There we go, I have two pieces of tape at the top two at the top half of the chair and two at the bottom half of the chair. Now I'm going to put two rows of tape all the way around the chair to secure it very good. So I'm going to take the tape. I'm going to start in the middle back of the chair. Actually, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to put that second row up further. And because I don't want to smash the cushion, I'm going to unroll it first, then bring it around loosely because I don't want any indentions in the foam because they could show through the chair cover. And I'm going to go around to the back and I will secure the tape to the back of the chair. And I'm gonna do the same thing around here up further. This is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like from the front. Hopefully you can see that. And this is what it looks like from the back. Now, if you want, you can put even more industrial tape, you know, to tape these ends down, but these are secure. This is secure tape that I've used. It's not just the clear scotch tape. So you can, you know, secure it however you want to even more. This is good for me. This is very secure, like I said, very secure tape. So now I'm ready to cover. Okay, I'm trying to get you a little closer to the chair. But these are the chair covers, and they're nice and soft and velvety. They're elastic down at the bottom. So they have one hole so that you can slip it on. It's almost like a dress, except it doesn't have the neck hole, of course. But you just slip it on. So I'm going to gather it up here. And, oh, let me show you this. It basically, the shape of it shows you how to put it on, of course. This longer front is for the seat. This goes in the back and around the bottom. So I'm gathering it and widening it at the top. Being careful not to disturb my tape going down. I want to make sure the seams are on the sides. Okay, I have it around top and all you do is just stretch and fit it. Stretch and fit. So I'm going to pull this here, stretch it down behind, and just pull evenly, and you can tuck right in here. And there you go. Is that not gorgeous? <laughs> and that's before the studs or anything. So you can roll this up under like this edge here and it looks fine, but you can roll it, you know, tuck it up under. And there we go. I tuck mine's up under, tuck the finished edge. I just tucked it up under, turn it inward, tuck it up and didn't do any sewing, didn't do any anything. Now I will show you this because since I have curved edges and my edges are not straight across, it did have this pucker here. 
and you could stretch, 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 but it just didn't, wasn't coming real good. It's still poking out. So all uh, I am going to do is just tuck this inward like so. You can stitch it or you can hot glue it, whichever one is easy for you. And I had it fixed up better here. I will probably hot glue gun mine together because I am going to be putting studs here and I haven't done this yet now. So this is going to come together very nicely. And the studs will be, now this is just me tucking it with my hand. So it will be more finished than this, but the studs will be down the center covering up that there. Okay. If I had a straight back, and if I had a straight edge, it would have filled out nicely, but mines are curved. So you just have to make adjustments where you can and let me get on with the project. And here along this edge, I just hot glue gunned mine close and it came out good. And like I said, the studs are going to be on top, so you won't even be able to tell. And here are the nail head studs that I have. And there are 100 pieces per pack. Mines are the nickel finish, and I got these from Amazon, like I said. I have here are the studs on the chair. I just have them sitting up here right now so I can see where I want them to be placed, see where I want the spacing to be, and I like this spacing, so I'm going to go ahead and start hot glue gunning them in. I will be hot glue gunning all of them down. I'm going to straighten out that seam so that they are even, but yeah, I'm going to start placing them or hot glue gunning them on. The studs do have these little legs on them, so I will be placing glue along the edges of those and then the edge of the stud underneath and placing them on. So my studs are about three centimeters a piece. I didn't measure every single one perfectly, but they are, I've measured them out and they are about three centimeters a piece. My husband gets on me all the time about not measuring, but <laughs> they are coming out very good. I'll try, I'll keep an eye on it, but they're coming out about three centimeters a piece. Also you guys, because these are stitched along the sides, this is not a super, super tight stitch. It's a good stitch, but it's not super, super tight. So these little prongs can stick in here you just work them in and then put your glue on the back to secure it then you have your stud in so it's been a very simple process all right guys so i am finished putting the studs on the chair i don't believe that i'm going to put it all down around the sides and the front um, I think just around the back of the chair is good. And my husband, he came in and saw my project before I was done and he loved it. But he said he thinks he likes just the, on the backing as well. Cause I asked him, what did he like? He said, I think just on the back looks good. Cause we got a lot going on in the dining room, a lot of bling. So I think this is good too. Don't want to overdo it. So I am about to put the chair pull on these are so pretty i love these so i'm about to put these on they have screws that go in them and i am about to put these on the back of the chair but um as you know there's a piece of cardboard right here the black cardboard is on the back so the screws will be able to go right in the back of the chair and look just so pretty so i'll show you some of the process so guys, I am going to have to mess up my chair, so to speak. Uh, we'll be putting holes in the wood. There's a center, center piece here. If you can see it in this chair, it has to anchor into there. The cardboard is not enough. So we're going to drill into the center part of the chair, the wood, to anchor this. So guys, what you have to try to do is since you don't want to, it's kind of hard to explain, when you put the screw in and you start turning here, 
the screw starts to turn the fabric and twist the fabric because of the ridges in the screw. So I have to make a hole in the fabric, a small hole, but a bigger hole than the uh, screw because it's grabbing onto the fabric with the power drill. So I'm gonna go in here and just snip a bigger hole. So now, let's see if it's gonna go without problem. Got it. Awesome, I was able, my husband helped me to level this so that I could get it right where the thick of this wood is. I just, you know, put the leveler on, made sure it was at the same place and got it on. So very happy about that. So as you can see, the chair on the left that has been updated is a little taller and it's just, it's nice. It is just beautifully done. I really love it. It's going to go very well with the dining room set. And let me turn it around so you can see it again. All right, guys, so share this video and like this video. Thumbs up this video for me. That helps get it out to other people. Also, if you want to see this great DIY right here that's also in the dining room, just stick around. It'll be popping up in a second at the end of this video. You can click on it. Also, the reveal of the dining room. That will be at the end of this, too. It's right about here. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Be blessed. Bye-bye.